What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach Elliot Scott and as you can see by the title below and on oh, well you probably can't see this because my handwriting is so bad but as you can see by the title below we are going to talk about why there are so many emotionally unavailable men on the market and or why you keep on attracting these type of men okay so jumping into it there's a lot more than you think okay this is not a real number this is just the vibe i get from my clients i'm not saying 40 percent of my clients have emotionally unavailable men it's higher than that but you have to take in consideration the fact that it's like a survivor bias right like the only people who come to me are people who um are in situations that are not working out happy loving relationships like girls don't pay me all that money just to tell me hey things are going well doesn't make sense but for the most part i feel like on the dating market 40 percent of men are uh emotionally unavailable which is a lot okay it is a lot it's just the vibe i get a lot of people are going to give you different definitions of emotionally unavailable to me it is a guy who can like you who can be, build a genuine connection who can have feelings everything you guys are doing is real but he despite all that he can't transition to a relationship because he gets in his own head he has these roadblocks he's his own worst enemy okay so jumping right into this number one and this is a really important one women do not realize how important this is it's hard to realize accept that is not the right accept um and fix the uh the, the situation okay it, it it's very hard to do that so let me give you an example of what i mean he has to first realize I'm emotionally unavailable like someone has to point that out to him guys don't want to go around talking to themselves, doing some type of reflection on, yeah, man, I'm broken. I don't deserve love. I, I'm the problem here. Like, guys don't do that. It just doesn't make sense, okay? I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do. People just, on average, do not do it. A lot of men do not have high emotional uh, intelligence, okay? They, they just don't have it. Um, so, first off, he has to realize it. Then he has to accept that, and then he has to try to fix it. So here's what ends up happening instead, ladies. It's an excuse. What he ends up to, to bypass all this, right? Isn't it much easier for a guy to just say, hey, she wasn't the right, it's not me. She just wasn't the right girl. Bam, excuse. So now this, this, this is off the, this is off the, this is off the thing now. Like, it's like, whatever. Okay, well, it's not me, it's her, right? Which leads me to the next thing. He is going to try to justify, ladies, that it is you, okay, not him, because he has to do a lot of self-reflection. He has to sit there and see the pattern of destruction, which they do create, right, meaning he's talking to a bunch of women over his lifetime, or the decade or whenever and they don't work out a lot of my clients are talking to guys in their 40s and 50s and they've never been married had serious relationships or if they have it was long ago that is a big red flag he is the variable right he is the common variable but again he's going to make the excuses and he's going to start saying hey it's not me it's you. And then he's going to try to justify it by the, I always say the brain's very evidence-based. He's going to look at all these things and be like, yeah, see, it was that. It was, it was that. And it might not be anything that you're even aware of. Like, you might come to me and say, like, actually, I do have it all the time. W women come to me and say, Elliot, we never fought. We never did this. We never did that. But it's not that kind of stuff. He just doesn't get the feeling from you that you're the one, right? So again, he's going to blame you and not him. Now, you're gonna see how this starts stacking up and we get this 40% here, watch. <clears throat> so, here's the next thing. <clears throat> God, my voice, sorry. Women stick around. So, if he's saying it's you, or he's making excuses, or you know he's emotionally unavailable, but you stick around, well, why does he need to change? He doesn't need to change. There's no reason where you like, where are you going? Like, I, I want to bypass this one. Like, I want to bypass this. Okay. It's not me. It's you. You need to change. So, you know, and, and then you stick around. Well, okay, cool. Well, then he's going to continue doing his thing. And 
and, um, and, and not need to change. And so when you guys don't work out, he's going to say, I'm not the problem. We, she stuck around. She stuck around. She, like, he doesn't feel like he needs to change. There's no reason to. There's no reason to change in his eyes, especially when women are sticking around. Now, I have over here, certain types of women attract these men, okay? I am a big believer that women who are trying to fill a void, women who are insecure, a woman with a lack of experience in men, or a woman who fear strongly being alone or feel really bad without being in a, or not being in a relationship are a target for these type of men, okay? Like these type of women stick around, they're, they're, they're much more likely to get emotionally unavailable men. Why? because they deal with it. These type of women deal with it. Do not be that type of woman. The next thing is, he's still good with women, right? And all this so far, like women are like, well, how's this, you might ask at least, how does this add up to a bunch of emotionally unavailable men? Well, <clears throat> it's because there's no reason for them to change. And when they, it doesn't change, like when there's no change, it starts to stack up. So he's still good with women. You're talking to a guy who's still good with women, meaning, okay, he didn't work out with you. He's still on the apps. People are still swiping right and he's matching. He's still going on dates. He can still get his dick wet if he wants. You know, women will come to me all the time. It's so funny. I'll have clients come to me and be like, I'm so out of his league. Like, I'm so much, like, he can't get someone like me, you know? And, and I'm like, yeah, he can. No, no, he can't. He got you though. Well, yeah, so, 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 no, what is it then? Like, if you said he can't get motherfuckers like you, but he got you and you're paying me $250 to talk about him and he's not, and you haven't talked to him in five weeks, he wants something to do with you, he's pretty good at what he's doing. Okay, yeah, I get, yeah, he's pretty good at what he's doing. If you think you're the only attractive woman he's talked to in his lifetime, you're not, right? So these dudes are still good with women. They can still attract women, which bypasses everything I have said so far. Goes back up to here. I don't need to fix it. I, I, it's not me. I can still get the women, right? And when I do get the women, they stick around. Hopefully you can read all that by now, right? But that's what happens. Now, this is where it starts stacking up. Okay, so first off, these first four, there's no real reason to change or it slows it down drastically. And now on top of that, here, here's where it starts to get hectic. It takes a long time for these men to change. Uh, this is why, this is the number one reason I tell women, do not stick around for an emotionally unavailable man. One, he might not even change. He might not even change. But if he does, it will take months. And I, this is not like a one, two month, three month, four month thing. This is like a eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 plus months thing. Or it could take years. Me, for example, I was emotionally unavailable for years in my 20s after a, a drastic, um, uh, I don't want to say breakup because she didn't even care for me, <clears throat> but it took me a long time to get over it. And for a lot of men, it it's the same way. If you're talking to a guy and let's say it would take months, but all this other shit's happening here. Like he's still good with women. He's still going on dates. He's not, it's just easier to seek pleasure than to fix the problem. So instead of me being like, yeah, I'm the problem. Let me pay some money for therapy and, and do all this bullshit. I'm going to make excuses. I'm going to come back down here and talk to other women. It's just easier to get for a dude to get his dick wet than to put down a hundred dollars, $130, $50, whatever, uh, a session with the therapist and, and try to fix the problem. And that's not even guaranteed. So a lot of the times it just takes a long time for a man to fix the problem. Here's another one that people don't think about. If you guys can read this, they navigate faster through the dating market than uh, emotionally healthy men. So for example, I have over here, when you're, this is just logic, when you are in a healthy relationship it is going to last longer. It's not going to be a two, three month thing, four month thing. It can be six plus months, years, whatever. So these guys are slowly, again, when you, when it takes a long time to fix it, when it takes a long time to fix it and it's slowly starting to stack up these emotionally unavailable men and these healthy men are getting taken off the market and these guys are running through it because their relationships last two or three months. Um, yeah, you're you're going to you're going to run into the the same bullshit over and over. So much that I actually have a little story. 
I had a client, three clients, who all dated the same guy at different times. From New York, I dated this, or I did date. Uh, she dated this one guy from the UK, and he was basically pulling some bullshit. Absolutely a, a fucking liar, manipulator, piece of shit. Um, it didn't work out. Two months later, I was talking to another client. Sound exactly like the guy. Uh, exact, the same shit he told my other client. He was telling this girl, she he was also she said he was also from the UK. I'm like, is his name so and so? She's like, yeah. Again, same shit. She didn't want to she didn't want to believe me. Same shit happened. Whatever didn't work out with them. They went their separate ways. Then the third girl came along. Same shit happened, right? So this guy literally went through three of my clients. Went through three of my clients. Well, they weren't. They ended up being my clients because of this guy. But yeah, they uh, they went. This guy went through three of them. When if any of these girls just had a long, happy, healthy, loving relationship, that wouldn't have happened, right? So these guys run through it. Um, that's that one. And lastly, broken hearts. Listen, it's it's almost. I hate to sound corny when I say this. Um, not EQ, uh, emotional EI. Yeah, is it emotional intelligence? Yeah. Um, I hate to sound corny when I say this, but it's like that Batman movie. What uh, the Dark Knight? What do they What do they say? You know. You, you live long enough to die or be, or die a hero or, or you become the villain type of thing. Well, you can have a happy, healthy marriage over here. Like everything can work out. Or if you are in a relationship, you are putting yourself at risk for a broken heart, right? And the it's, you either get married or you get heartbroken. It's, it's just pretty, not married, but you either last forever or you don't, right? And then you're heartbroken. 50-50 uh, chance, basically. And if you aren't working out, you're getting a broken heart. And if you have a broken heart, you're gonna become this emotionally uh, unavailable man. And then when you are when you become this man, here you go. You start up here now and you, tr and you trickle down. I know you guys cannot read anything there anymore, but you, you start to trickle down, okay? And the process begins. He's, he has this broken heart. That's what happened to me. I got screwed over really bad uh, from something that I thought was great. Um, I did not handle it well. It brought me up here. I started making excuses. I didn't want to fix it. I was the guy who was like, well, I'd rather just focus on women than fixing my problems. There you go, right? Now, the best way to prevent all this is just to be a high value woman who knows what the signs are to emotionally unavailable men. That is why I have a free guide on being a high value woman instantly. Seven things on how to instantly be a high value or ways to be a high value woman. Absolutely free. All you have to do is click the link below and it's going to be sent right to you. And you're going to be uh, subscribed to my newsletter where you're going to get a very in-depth article. Very in-depth that I do not have out anywhere else on um, emotionally unavailable men. The signs and things like that. So if you get the high value guide and you know the signs to avoid like you're, you're setting yourself up again absolutely free guide get it right there that's not hiv that's high value i promise <laughs> but if you want the high value guy ladies absolutely free links down below if you want to work with me links down below i love you all take care and peace